Hey guys, it's Pierre, Fish Beast. Welcome back. I'd like to show you a new project that I'm starting. This is my 55 gallon Hillstream tank. It's got a high rate of water flow. It's subtropical, meaning it's a little cooler. And in this tank, I keep some of my most favorite fish, which are Hillstream loaches. I've got Dojo loaches in here. And Agara. And I want to move them to a bigger aquarium. I've got a 75 gallon aquarium that I want to turn into a river tank. The other reason I want to move them is because this tank is too high, it's hard for me to service it, to clean it, to access it. Like there's a bunch of duckweed that's growing here that's really hard to get rid of. So moving them will make that easier. I'm going to show you the new tank that those guys are moving into. This is a 75 gallon aquarium that I picked up during Petco's last dollar gallon sale. So it's a good deal. I set it up as the bottom tank in this uh, stand I built. Hi! And the good thing about this stand is I made sure that I had a ton of room so that I could work in the tank if I needed to. Now, what I also want to do with this tank is make sure that it has a proper unidirectional flow system. The tank I have right now has kind of a half-baked system where I have a power head that's blasting water in one direction. I'm relying on the lift from a sponge filter on the other end to move that water across the top. However, in this aquarium, what I want to do is create a river manifold. So uh, Jace has joined me here and we're going to show you the parts that you need, okay? And it involves taking three quarter inch pipe and cutting it into the appropriate length. I use this PVC pipe cutter. It's pretty easy to use. I'll show you how it works. You just have to ratchet it down until it cuts the pipe and then you've got a pipe section. So using that and some measurements that I took from the new aquarium, I came up with some PVC pipe that I've cut to the appropriate length. And I'm going to put this together. I've got here some keys and I'll list the parts too down here um, so that you'll know uh, what to buy from Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you want uh, if you want to build something like this to house these fish. All right, so I've cut all the pieces to size. I've got all the, the fittings that I need. So it's time to dry fit it. Dry fitting makes sure that it's the right shape, the right dimensions so that before you uh, cement the pieces together, you know that it'll look and, and act right. Okay, so here we are, almost done dry fitting everything. Looks pretty good, right Jace? So now we've got the whole manifold ready to be cemented and glued in place. Now note that I'm in, in the middle, I used this PVC lock, which is a cement or glue free lock system. The reason being that my tank is all the way in that stand already. And I don't really want to take it out just to put this thing in. So that looks pretty good. There you go. That's your uh, river manifold. The last thing I need to do is just put some risers on here. Uh, two risers on this side for the power heads and two risers on this side for the intakes which will be covered with uh, sponges or sponge filters. Alright, I'll check in with you later.